um, so coming to the next video so we are talking about uh, power bi playlist so a few concepts i have discussed earlier like in the previous video where uh, to understand in the bi environment how power bi is fulfilling the roles of bi um, from uh, scratch to end so now specific to power bi i want to discuss few things there are many questions for me like uh, how to start uh, learning power bi and what is the flow that we have to learn and uh, where we have to concentrate more on which part of course power bi is the solution for the complete bi environment so there are multiple roles and responsibilities uh, that we have to perform so in such case there are lot of questions and with lot of people like uh, uh, exactly how to start and uh, where to focus more and uh, like on which concept we get more interview questions in the work environment how to survive in which component we are very familiar means how our job will survive without any struggles such way i have a lot of questions from many of uh, viewers so now i just want to take some uh, this opportunity for this in this video just to answer few of them uh, and uh, so to start up the video so myself uh, rajesh shepuri as you know so to to start uh, so power bi is having two major components one is power bi desktop another one is power bi service maybe in the earlier video itself i have discussed power bi desktop is to perform development activities power bi desktop is to perform development activities power bi service is to perform admin activities so first we will discuss as developer because uh, many of our uh, uh, viewers will uh, or else the students or else like uh, learners want to start as a developer instead of admin so as i said in ls sessions itself like power bi is combination of power query where we can perform etl operations and power pivot uh, to perform modeling plus kpis generation using dax data analytical expressions and power view for the visualizations so in the developer perspective which uh, component is really very important and uh, in which uh, place we have to focus more which roles are very important in the work environment definitely if you ask me the question like uh, in such a way i'll answer only one thing all of them are important in simple way but to be honest yeah all are important but really we have to focus on few concepts so first of all when we talk about power query i said like etl operations this is like a mandatory to go with sql etl operation is the first priority step that we have to perform while you start your bi experience because the etl is all about to prepare the data preparation we do preparation in which way do we prepare the data which is in the raw data which is not in clean mode we are converting that into the clean which is in detail we are converting into summarize which is in transactional way we are converting into the dimensional way so these things when we want to perform so this is the first step that we have to take care this is order definitely when you come to power query if you ask me in the work environment really 100% we require the power query means yes i will say yes but within this power query i prefer few more two more tools like uh, ssis from msbi and adf from microsoft azure cloud service right these are the two core etl components which are really helpful to power bi instead of power query but if you know power query well then go into ssis and adf as well if you are a quick learner and interested in learning okay next uh, coming to the model concept uh, definitely the next other important concept after power pivot is uh, modeling 
So if you don't perform the relationships between the tables, you will not get the data accuracy. You will not face, you will not see the data accuracy. On data accuracy, you cannot uh, perform KPIs. Without data accuracy, we cannot perform KPIs. KPIs are the key columns which will help the client to know the business standards, where they are in the market and in which product they are getting profits and where they are get, gaining more uh, sales. Such way if they want to know, they have to generate KPIs. Until the modeling is perfect, uh, data accuracy is not possible. If data accuracy is not possible, you cannot generate KPIs. So the second step which is important after Power Query, as I mentioned in the order, modeling. After modeling, generating the KPIs using the DAX formulas. So once we use DAX formulas and generate the KPIs, then we can go for visualization. The results of KPIs, we are going to visualize that into the visualizations in the using Power View. By bar chart, line chart, pie chart, there are a lot of charts like 30 plus charts that we have. So these all charts will help uh, to visualize the data of different various perspectives in a different mode. So I prefer strongly Power View knowledge is also most important thing. Of course, all of them are important, but here and there, in which project, in which component you are using is purely dependent on the flow. So this is all about the development uh, activities in this video I want to speak. Coming in the next video, definitely we will talk about uh, the admin roles. So please stay tuned to the, my next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, we are help you to help you to come into the IT industry. Okay, using Power BI or any other BI tools. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity.